No, I don't want triple number. I just want... Okay, well, 69. I want to see if the zero at the front makes it just a, a double digit. Or a single, because that other world, like you saw, is just vault zero. Here we go. We're going to show how to create the infinite lunchbox dupe. Which unfortunately won't be as quick as my other world. Which we could jump back to in a minute once you see how everything gets going. Right on the door, Volt 69. Not even a zero. Nice. We're doing it. Yeah. Thanks for the follow, Dante, brah. Thanks, brah. A minus. A bright set of tears and infinite sadness. Smashing pumpkins. We've done it. Congratulations, guys. So we are going to start fresh and look for this glitch and say hello on YouTube. Hello. All right, let's do it at once. Put the lotion on our skin. Yep. Okay. It's gonna make me click it. That's cool. Still. <laughs> Alright. The first one's always five, and the second one always seems to be two. Remind me to check after this is done when we get this whole loop going to check and see if the first number is gone. Okay. So we have done what needs to be done. Yes. So you want to complete this right here, this little tutorial section, and get into the, uh, the achievements area, basically. Your section of quests. Yes, we want a diner. Great. Yes. Um, sure. Okay. Awesome. Okay, round two. So this is where we won. So we want to complete these quests until we get two particular ones. We want one to be the uh, sell a weapon or armor and the other one which I can't think off the top of my head. We've done this for so long now. Let's see. Assign two dwellers in the right room. I don't know. These are two. Alright. Is that going to give it to me? No. Nope. Probably going to rerun that one. Okay, take care, paintball. Mm, one sec. Okay. Alright. So basically, all we're looking for our two quests. Let's uh, actually run... Because this one, this top one, assign two dwellers in the right room is kind of shady. Never works out that well. So... I think one of them has to be higher, so I'll... <laughs> clear that out and get a copy of it. Thanks, game. Well, either way, we're looking for two objectives. One of them is to sell one weapon or outfit, and the second one is to equip one dweller with a weapon. You can complete them, but do not turn them in. So, uh, we only want to do the third quest. So right now, we want to clear out this to get wherever. 
two, 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 whatever. Okay, that worked. In our favor. I think we kind of have to be... Okay. That didn't do it? I don't understand this game sometimes. Alright, there we go. Awesome. We got it. One down. Okay. Yup, yup. Oh, I'm gonna fail this so hard. Wrecked. Alright, let's get these two guys in here. Let's, uh, it's only one, one, Let's see if I can get anyone else in there with more, no, where are you going, you crazy, I think they're crazy, let's try rushing this one. Awesome. Claim. Okay, 50 food and water. Fantastic. Alright. Diner. And water. Done. That should help speed up the process a little bit. 1818. Okay. And who might you be, my friend? Correct. This quest loves me. Uh, do alright without it. You just have to get to those two quests and you're fine. Okay. Um. Here, let's just do it. Build a living quarter. That was a negative. Big negative tin for good buddy. Whatever, it's all good. You have to have caps for that though. I mean, doesn't really matter. Not too worried about it yet. Yay, power. Like I said, it's not a huge deal. Okay, now, where did he go? I meant to put him somewhere else so we could do this one. Send someone out. We just really want those two quests. Unfortunately, it's taking its sweet time. I'll get back here. Because when you're doing this, there's no reason for anyone to be out there. 
Okay. Okay, there's one. Saw so one weapon or outfit. Hey, Maddie. MJP2703. How you doing? Okay, so never turn that quest in. You could do it. You could sell one weapon or outfit. That's fine. Just never for any reason complete it. Albert Peterson. The real MVP. Okay. So we need to clear out one of the waters or the foods. Which we are almost there. I'm in the process of doing it right now, actually. And then I will upload this to YouTube. And I'll put a little comment section down below so you can read it pretty much. But right here, you're witnessing it. All we're doing is clearing this out until we get two quests. We have one of them right now. The sell one weapon or outfit. That's just one of them. So we still need to get the water. Uh, to Welcome back. All I need is like one of these rooms to produce. Actually, it doesn't really matter. This is good. So we're just fine. Almost there. You did. That's no good. You can start over. Just waiting. It starts a little slow. A little slow. If you hang around long enough, Maddie, you will see how progressive the other world is and I'm still not quite where I want to be on the other one um, I looked over my other world and once we get to 100 dwellers in the new one um, we will be able to do this practically non-stop the only limitations is how fast we can breed level 1 babies really another minute one minute and then we will be 18 okay so actually a little bit longer we might be able to rush them hopefully one of these next the next one that pops up um, the water is going to get done first so I'll try and rush a water after this and uh, that third one will be our good one so we'll be able to start the cycle right away um, let's send him out go explore you're a free bird now my friend survey said are we winners and we're winners there we go 
that's the second quest that you get so now we have sell one weapon or outfit and equip one dweller with an outfit so we never want to turn either of those in now this other quest here it's collect 50 food at the moment this is the one that we keep repeating it's going to be the middle one in this game I'm just going to keep doing that over and over so you can you can complete it you can equip a dweller with an outfit and you can sell a weapon but just never turn it in um, also don't click the X at the top here because you could accidentally click the completion for the uh, the top quest and then mess your game up I click on the left or the right side of the box outside like on the land or something in the rocks that way you'd never hit that X accidentally okay so food let's uh, rush some food real quick because our food is the quest we're fine with and collect 50 water lunchbox so that'll cycle through to the water and because this game is just starting off and it's really slow I'll show you how to do this the quicker way so this is complete this is official this is now a looped world where this middle quest will continue to be collect 50 water collect 50 food or level up one dweller so that's done that's it right there so now we'll go to the faster world the thing I wanted to see is if the zero will be erased from the start so this should be vault 69 on the main screen so let's take a look at that vault 69 the zero is gone great so there you go guys if you put a zero or a zero zero at the start it'll cut out the zeros just like right here in the middle you see vault zero which was zero zero which is my current work in progress of infinite lunchbox glitch so this world's cycling really fast and much much faster I'll be able to do this practically non-stop I won't be able to click fast enough to generate boxes once I finish getting it where it needs to be So we'll let this load up real quick. One day, perhaps. All right, so here you can see what your world will eventually look like. This is only after like, I don't know, maybe seven, eight hours of play. So we have 67 lunch boxes. I've probably opened like 100 150 so far um, collect 50 food done and this is basic cycle you're gonna be in just like the other world see it's gonna give me a lunch box level up one dweller right there there's a level done lunch box collect 50 food we don't have 50 food let's rush this So, um, if I had the way I wanted to set it up, I'll have four rooms of each until I get to 100 dwellers. And then, um, this way I can alternate between clicking the two so I don't have to wait. And then once I reach 100 dwellers, I'll have, uh, max Nucopola plants, which produce 50 food and water each. So, just one Nucopola plant will generate 50 food and 50 water. So, I'll have four Nucopola plants running and they I think in my other world it said like 57 seconds or was it like 47 seconds so it's like 50 food and water every 47 seconds times four so you'll never have to stop clicking for those your only limitations are gonna be how fast you can breed level one people because once these people get to level 50 you're gonna send them off into the wastelands to die and then delete them because they're no use to you anymore you can't get any more lunch boxes I know it sounds harsh, but that's the reality. The vault life. 50 water. Level up a dweller. Just like that. And that is how you generate infinite lunch boxes.
so good luck.